shout out to Sadil Uncle for providing me this pretty XUW pen. So okay, now let's start the review. First, we would like to talk about the exterior and the front. Well, when the old XUV came out, we really liked the exteriors of it. It looks nice and aggressive. It looks, so it looks better. The aggression has trimmed down, but still, it still looks more magnificent. As you can see, the new grill it has more smoke in it, and the new fog lamp housing, which has a dash of chrome. The headlamps are really cool. They are smooth. The S shaped light guides over there, and then yeah, the S shaped light guides, which look, I think they look really cool. Now you have the projector headlamps and the hydraulic assisted hood. That means hydraulic assisted hood means you don't need the traditional prop. You will just you just lift up the hood and there you go. There's this nice black housing over here. And these headlamps actually are automatic. So as are wipers. I mean when you turn on that function, the headlamps would automatically turn on when it's night time and the wipers would automatically turn on when it's when it's raining. So now let's come to the side. Mm -hmm. These are very tough being a miner of course these alloy wheels look really awesome and there's this spider lamp. Means when you unlock the car you can see one XUV 500 logo projecting on the ground which so it also acts as a puddle lamp I mean so if there's a puddle you don't step into it and do a mess because the lights are there to indicate it and one more thing these side footboards these do not come as as standard feature on the XUV that sighting can accessory and these curtains owner has put on this car which hmm. does not come standard on the XUV hmm. you can also notice this chrome lining which goes over here hmm. this massive wheel just looks really nice and now this can you see this small button over here this is for your keyless entry so when you don't have to have the key in your hand you don't have to press any button you just keep your key in the pocket or in yourself and press this button over here to unlock the car. And these mirrors are power folding. Means when you unlock the car, they fold and unfold automatically. And inside, you don't have to put your hand out of your window to adjust these mirrors. And now that's about it for the sides. Let's Can you keep back, love? In the back. You now you will notice the back is very similar to the older car. These you can see, but there's a chrome dash dash of chrome over here, which the company has put, and then this camera over here. Otherwise, everything remains the same. There's no difference. Now, okay, enough of the exterior. Now let's move on to the interior feature. So, okay, here as you can see, I am in the car. Mm, very comfortable seats. Seats are really supportive. Uh, let me close the door. Yeah, seats are very supportive in this car. Very comfortable. Good lumbar support. Good amount of support. Good under thigh support. Steering wheel looks really nice. So you can see on the right side you have your music system controls on the left side you will find your voice command and your cruise controls then and you have this really nice 3d dials i'll have to switch the car on for that then you have the steering audio controls and you see these please note guys these really nice dials over here over there these are 3D dials actually and there's no and these array of lights over here which 
which look really nice and then you have many cup holders throughout the car you have one storage space here mm -hmm. then two cup holders over here and then the armrest over here so there's actually a storage inside it yeah there's actually a storage this is cool actually the, the cool air you just have to twist this and the cold air blows inside it there's also i think some compartment and as you can see your hill start assist buttons over here your hazard lights your micro hybrid your lounge lighting your esp button and your hill start assist again Hmm. Then you can see the automatic climate controls over here then as you can see and if you are on here it will show you a separate box so it won't disturb you whatever with whatever you are doing and then the, here is the music system as you can see it's showing key not detected in vehicle because there's no key inside the car i think hmm. it's not my car and then you have your power button then turn it on then home as you can see different tabs over here let's go to media then your radio i think your tune your tuning slide okay let's stop that for the minute okay now you have showing key not detected in vehicle because there's no key i just as i told you you have your band over here your i don't know auto store then your media over here you can see radio usb audio usb video usb photo bluetooth aux etc then you have your settings over here base you have your base mid range treble and all that bells and fader you can actually drag this across rather than doing this or your center over here hmm. start a audio the audio over here then sdvc speed adaptive volume actually i think it is yes. and now let's go to home so now then phone now no phone connected because there's no bluetooth inside the car but when you have the bluetooth connected you have this you can dial a number from this and can dial a number from here now let's we were in car info so let's go in car info fuel info which shows your average mileage your distance to empty your tire pressure monitoring you can see the tire pressure your reverse camera alert info service info and i can show you this one this few the distance to empty over here and your average mileage then your tire tronics you can see it shows all four tires including the stepney then the then you have your reverse camera you can see which is very convenient for this massive car alert info key not detected it's not showing that's our service info no service due i think this is a new car so it's not showing now you have your button to go into your this menu because i was here then now we were in now let's go to navigation so this is your maps as you can see we are in india right now maharashtra in mumbai in mumbai actually you have your zoom in buttons over here you have these buttons to zoom in zoom out you can zoom in like this also this just support i think zoom gestures and you have your search options over here then over here your compass then your voice i think how much you want that lady or that that person to speak then this is i think your to change the direction of that and 
I think pretty sure that these you might have seen. So now let's go over here. As you can see, you there actually the it's showing I think POI over here. It's showing POI I think. You can search the address over here. Actually, then then you can select country or state can then you can cross this actually I think then you it brings you back to this menu click this I don't know what is it but uh, so I think something about your route Then you can change your this route so highways, narrow roads, ferries, toll roads, etc. And toll roads. Okay. Okay, and this is your navigation. The navigation sends over here. Hmm. And this is your 3D to your and your automatic dimming here. This I think is your owner's manual. Hmm. Then I think this came back to this in the settings actually. This you can even change the this uh, language in the navigation. Say in it has English and Hindi and many other different languages. And that's it I think for the music system and this is when you adjust the climate it shows you a separate box actually oh, it's fan speed it's too much it's making a lot of noise actually and then you have your mute info you have, can have your EQ set you can apps video lists and I think that's it for uh, the music system and you have your voice command which are really cool I think mm -hmm. so you I mean in many cars you have voice commands but this is special because you can use your voice command to turn on your wipers to turn on your headlamps and etc oh and one more thing the driver also gets voice notes for if there's any now in other cars there are just beeps if there's no seat belt in this car, if that function is activated, the the person says, "Okay, your seat belt is not activated. Your this your engine oil is low or anything." And then you have your mirror controls over here. The driver side window is fully automatic in this car. Other you will have to hold it. You have your bottle holders over here to keep your things like your bottles over here. Then, I mean, look at the handbrake, it's so tall actually. I mean, it's very tall. It's like a 20th century Viper handbrake. And you have these buttons console over here. I think this is your lounge lighting. This controls your lounge lighting over here. Hmm. And there's a box over here to keep your things over here. And then I think this is your lounge lights. Yeah. Can you see it's light up? Now it's not night, so it's not too effective. But still, you can see just a bit of the lounge lights over here. Over here and here. Your sunroof over here, I think. Yeah. You can open your sunroof from this. I think open this is open and close. Now let's turn off the lounge lights and yeah, the lounge lights are off. But one feature I found missing over here was this is adjusted by a tap. Now it should have actually auto dimming because the cars below it have auto dimming mirrors. It's actually no car in this class has it, so it should have, I think. And then you have your sunglass holder over here. Now, what I found missing was this. 
the older car had conversation mirror over here that's cut now now they have cut the conversation mirror I think that was a really cool thing the conversation mirror but now they have cut it cut it unfortunately and then you have your lumbar adjustment over here to adjust the seats i think and then for convenience you also have your 12 volt power supply over here and this, there are two glove boxes actually look this is the upper one oh. and this is the lower one the lower one is massive i mean i mean you can fit your laptop in there actually hmm. okay now let's check out what is on the hood seat is forward so you can actually finding a comfortable driving position is breeze hmm. so under the hood sits a 2.2 liter m hawk engine producing 140 ps of power and 330 newton meters of torque there's also something called next track which controls Steering angle sensor and so on. Now this car gives you a mileage of 16, makes city and highway. And one more thing, you can see the hood is hydraulically assisted. That means you don't need a traditional hood prop to open it, and which makes it open really easy. Look. from the middle seat it's i think you can see everything it's good enough so i as i pointed out this your lumbar support adjustment here you can you can see the file holder really comfortable the rear seat i have massive amount of leg room good amount of head room as well i mean it's good amount of space over here and also the under thigh support is pretty good and you have some nice creature comforts over here as well like this file holder over here and your ac vents at the back and over here you also have your 12 volt power outlet and in the middle there is good amount of leg room the floor is completely flat so whoever sitting here should not fight for leg space good amount of head space in the middle as well and the bench is really flat so whoever sitting here so whoever sitting here should not should have good under thigh support and so wide car so it should not be or too much of pushing at the back to sit three people in comfort but one thing i found missing was the sliding and reclining third row sorry second row hmm. and you have your armrest over here as well which has two cup holders on it <laughs> and your door bins are large enough to house big bottles no <laughs> and you have good amount of storage over here now let's see the third row mm -hmm. so you can see to get into the third row actually really tight to get over here and as you can see over here i'm right sure right now i have decent amount of head room but leg room will be really tight for tall people i have decent amount over here but but somebody tall will really have to squeeze over here i mean it's a 5 plus 2 suv
you can just have two people at the back in emergency but you have some nice features over here like this 12v power supply and this storage and this bottle holder this is for folding for opening your fuel lid just in case if the mechanism is not working and you have your AC vents over here and here also with your blower controls over here so now let's get out of here As you can see it tumbles easily but it's a really tiny space to get out Yeah. 